Guys, you learn how to properly plan your macros for the day, like, you can still go out and enjoy stuff. Because the thing about the in and out Burger, with me getting three patties, one- What's good, my beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank y'all for tuning in and rocking with your boy. Today is Friday, April the 5th, a beautiful Friday. But before we go any further, let's go ahead and get this way in out the way. Alright, so guys, so for breakfast, I'm gonna have four ounces of ground turkey, 141 grams of egg whites, two pieces of sourdough toast, a uh, serving and a half of the strawberry jam, and as well, I put some of this salsa in here that we got from HEB. So, a serving that salsa inside of the uh, ground turkey to give it a little extra flavor. And as well, one serving, which is 28 grams of um, low fat uh, Fiesta cheese. So I'm gonna get ready to eat this, enjoy my breakfast, and knock out a thing of water for the day. And that's all with the rest of my day, y'all. Right, guys if you can see just pulling up at the gym gonna go ahead and give me a good arm workout in y'all just tag along y'all know i'm gonna take y'all through the workout with me y'all know this Right now I'm working out. Now obviously I don't lift weights seven days a week, but I'm in the gym seven days a week. Once I hit my 66 day in a row number, then possibly I might dial it back to where um well most likely I will. I'll dial it back to where I'm in the gym five days and I'm out two days. That's cardio included. Because one thing I feel like me coming to the gym every single day has done, done to me, I ain't gonna say done for me, but it caused me to hit a, a certain type of plateau in my, um, in my weight loss. And because I'm burning so many calories a week working out, it's stalling out. To a certain extent, it's stalling out my metabolism. So one thing I don't wanna do 
is be in the gym too much to the point to where it start working against me because I'm not consuming enough food to actually take in all the calories to actually counter counteract there you go actually counteract all the calories that I'm taking in because truth be told y'all you think you eat a lot until you start eating the right things and over this past week I've been using I went back to this wrong board on my calories and found out for the amount for the amount that I work out, I don't, I didn't eat nowhere near enough. So I noticed my weight had started to stall. So this week, I bumped my um, calorie intake up to um, 20, 2,900, which honestly, I, me looking over again early, I may need to bump it up to like 30, 3,100 calories. Now to somebody that might seem like a lot, but if you only knew how many calories I burn in here lifting and doing cardio every day, it's crazy because even like today i mean even like this week since i've shot up my my calorie intake this is the first day this week that i've done cardio because the reason being i don't want to i don't want to work out so much to the point to where my body continues to stay in a plateau stage or starvation mode some people call it so in order to counteract that, I cut off my my cardio session each each week. I mean each each workout this week except for this one. So that's some of the changes I noticed. And one thing I noticed with me doing that this week, I did drop all the way down from 299 to um to 297. Now this morning I got on scale, I bumped back up to 298, but that's okay. Because where I'm at, I should start steadily seeing, as long as I'm consuming enough calories to counteract my working out, to keep my metabolism going, I should start seeing a healthy two pound, one and a half to two pound drop every week. And as well, I stopped doing the intermittent fasting because that, for me, I can't speak for nobody else, but for me, that was working against me as well because I need to be eating early in the morning to start my metabolism to go on earlier, to give my give my my own um, my metabolism more time to burn off fat and burn off the calories throughout the day. So those are just some of the changes that I made, you know, coming into this week. So I mean, if, if you somebody, you losing weight, you on this journey too, go look into the uh, Mifflin's, the Mifflin's, um, I forgot what it's called, it's Mifflin's, but I'll put the formula down below in the description. All right, obviously y'all can see I'm back in the crib, but I gotta eat, shower, and run because I gotta get right back out and hit the road. But for lunch, which is a late lunch, I'm having here, let me get it focused. Seven ounces of thin sliced chicken breast, and I'm having this whole pack of broccoli rice and cheese, which is only 240 calories. This is, I don't know how many, but as well, which I didn't see on camera, was I had two of these rice cakes with, um, like I said, two of those rice cakes with 114 grams of tuna to shoot up my protein and the macros for all that you'll see somewhere on the screen. But let me eat this, y'all. Go shower and I got to dip again. Made it to the airport, guys. I've been here waiting probably about uh, about 30, 40 minutes. I had some time, so I just sat and chilled in the whoop of red, red me a chapter of my book for the day. So I can go and check that off the list. But mom has landed, so I'm sitting here waiting for her to get off the plane. I hadn't seen my wife in like three days, so I'm excited to see her, per usual. I'll see y'all when my baby show up.
There she go, y'all. Finally. After she made a detour. Mm -mm, you caught blue handed with the bag in your hand. like cooking no sides because I ain't got no sides or nothing cooked. But I got meat cooked in the house. I don't feel like cooking no sides. And I got like over 1,500 calories left for each. And I don't feel like putting a whole bunch of stuff together to hit those calories and those macros. So the next big thing, uh, the next best thing is in and out because it's good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get me a triple meat burger. A triple, triple. That ain't what, that ain't what he called it. With some fries and an unsweet tea. And it's gonna be good. Like he got, he is one shot away. He could be holding in the motorcycle. No. Oh, he's so walking. He walked like he ate way too much. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? That ass tight. <laughs> he clenching. That boy clenching. He gonna get in that car and fart. Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Him. He can't even get in the car. He, he got shit so damn bad. He don't get in the car and shot. <laughs> he can't even get in the car. He, he got mad. <laughs> He's snacking the hell out of this dog. Right nah, there. I ain't the hell out of this dog. Oh, I got a boo boo. Man, yeah. sit down. <laughs> so, y'all, that triple triple, this is what I be saying when I be like, like, no, when you start knowing your macros and then, like, you know, you can eat stuff in moderation. So, I got the three by three, the regular way where I took the. Which is probably less calories because I took the um not the onions but the tomatoes tomatoes have calories in them too. But I took the tomatoes and the onions off. But uh, with me, I had like close to like a thousand. Well, I had a little bit over a thousand some calories left to eat for the day. And it's like I told you, I ain't feel like going to the house and trying to stomach through something and figure out what I was gonna eat because I ain't had nothing planned. So I just got came in and out got my unsweet tea so I can have a beverage. The in and I only got one size of fry. That's some bow headed. <laughs> got the fry, got the three by three, which that meal, let's see, the three by three, that three by three meal came out to be 1200, um, yeah, 1200 carbs, 1200 calories, 93 carbs, 73 fat, 59 protein. And with all them numbers, even with all them calories, the pro the carbs, the fats, and the protein, I'm still under my target range for the day. But I'm like right there at it. Guys, you learn how to properly plan your macros for the day, like you can still go out and enjoy stuff. Because the thing about the in and out burger, with me getting three patties, one thing I knew in my mind, 
I knew I wasn't gonna get. I knew all my cars, majority of them cars, gonna come from the fries. And I knew I was gonna get some cars from the bun. Normally, ten, nine times out of ten, if it's a regular bun, you're gonna get anywhere from like 20 to 30 cars out of it. And then if it's a bun, every bun gonna be between 200 to two, 230 calories. But with those three pieces of meat, I knew I was gonna get a chunk of protein and some fat because I pro they probably using 85, well, 80, 20, or 70, 73, 27, whatever it is, ground beef. They're not using a, a, a low fat cow ground beef. So I knew I was gonna get a lot of fats out of that. But I, I knew what my macros were, I knew what I had left, calories, protein, carbs, et cetera, et cetera. And with just me knowing, and that was the whole reason of me getting the three by three, which is the three the three meat patties, because I knew in this one meal, I just wanted to go ahead and get the rest of my day done as far as eating. And that's what I did, I accomplished. I accomplished my goal, I ate something that I enjoyed, and the fact that I ate it, and I could eat it guilt free. It, it's still like, I, like I said, with all that coming in, I still was able to enjoy that and still not go over on my calories for the day and my, my, my macros for the day. So, like, I know your numbers, man. Know your numbers. But if you enjoyed this content, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this wherever you share cool things. And that's the end of the video. So, until next time, remember. Life is better when you're you. God love you. Uh-oh. Getting blurry. God love you. We love you. With her onion hanging down. Y'all be blessed.